everyone loves Chip and Joanna, right? Stars of HGTV's Fixer Upper, I know I do. But what is up with the rumor about Joanna leaving the show to launch a skincare line? Consumer reporter John Matteris looks into it, but first, Delta going after scammers, John? Yes, that's right, Kristen. Uh, did you ever get a postcard telling you that you won free tickets from Delta? Or maybe you saw something on Facebook about some amazing Delta deal to Mexico. Well, you probably won't see those anymore now that Delta has sued several companies using the airline's name and logo. These travel companies would promote too good to be true vacation packages showing the Delta logo when Delta really had nothing to do with it. Delta does not give away free plane tickets and sorry, you did not win a trip. I've warned about phone scams many times, but tonight a powerful attorney general is warning everyone to beware phone calls telling you to buy a gift card. New York State's attorney general says thousands of Americans have been scammed out of millions of dollars the past year as they fell for phone scams telling them to pay with a gift card. The scammers claim to be with the IRS, FBI, or even your grandson who needs bail money to get out of jail. If you get any call telling you to buy a gift card to pay someone, hang up, it's a scam. Many of us watch HGTV, and one of the shows we love the most is Fixer Upper. But could the stars of that show be leaving to sell cosmetics? Well, I checked out a report that may show up in your news feed to see if it's real. Really Fixer Upper's Joanna Gaines is one of HGTV's hottest stars. Do we want to take on this renovation? Of course we do. It's what we do for a living. So this headline is shocking. HGTV nightmare. Joanna Gaines leaves show to start a cosmetic line. The supposed Cosmopolitan article claims Joanna is leaving Fixer Upper to pursue her new skincare line, Dermafolia Renewal, that you can try out for just $4. But wait a second. Dermafolia looks exactly like another cream, Satin Youth, supposedly sold by Ivanka Trump. I asked him who owns this company, and he told me Ivanka Trump. Last month, Lisa Zilich told me how her $4 trial of Satin Youth turned into hundreds of dollars of credit card charges because she missed the 14-day cancellation period. It's crazy. A Google search found Ivanka Trump's photo on several fake news reports for skin cream. Only this time, the product was Ilium, not Satin Youth. Another time, it was Bizu Wrinkle Cream. All three ads, though, are identical to the Dermafolio ad, supposedly Joanna Gaines' new skincare line. We have emailed these products several times for more information, but they have never gotten back to us. But Joanna has not launched any such line of skin cream. She has nothing to do with dermafolia, and she is not leaving HGTV. Lisa Zilich wants other women to beware these trial offers that can become very costly. Now, in our earlier report last month, we were able to trace this product to a shipping warehouse in Utah. But it was just a warehouse and no one there was sure who's really behind it all. On WCPR.com, read my report on the big mystery over Tri-State Woman's missing kitchen cabinets. Where'd they go? Check it out so you don't waste your money.